Welcome to my video on bod mass. This is for key stage two and it covers what bod mass is and some examples so that you can go away and have a practice for yourself. Okay, so what is bod mass and why is it important? Bod mass, like mentioned previously, is the rule of maths. It's how we go about solving questions. Questions that are a little bit easier than this one in that picture there, five plus five. If you have um, a question which has many different aspects like multiplying and add addition and subtraction and maybe even some brackets or some squares or some cubes, then we have to use bod mass. It is important because if we don't follow these steps, if we don't follow bod mass, our answer could be completely different. And I'll show you what I mean in just a second. When we're using bod mass, we need to remember that the word is significant. The B for bod mass is the thing that we would do first. This is an order of importance. So the B would be the most important, then going down to the O, to the D, etc. And the least important things are the A and the S. Now, what do they stand for? B stands for brackets. So if you have an equation with brackets in, just like this example here, two times three plus five, you would do the bit in brackets first, so that's always the case. If you have brackets in an equation, they must be done first. The O stands for orders or powers. So if you have a number that's squared or cubed, you need to make sure that you do that after the brackets if there are some. But if they haven't got any brackets, then you would do those first. Following on from that, we have division. So if you have a divide sign in there, but you don't have any brackets or any powers, then that would be the thing that you do first. Likewise with multiplication, that's fairly important. It's more important than addition and subtraction, but it's less important than division and the other things we've mentioned. And onto the last two now we have our addition and we have our subtraction. Okay, we've got some examples here. If you can't remember, it might be worth writing the word bod mass on top of any of these questions just so you've got something to refer to. Um, so looking at the first one here, in this equation we have a multiplication and we also have an addition. Now if we follow along from bod mass, the first thing we see is this m, the multiplication, and then addition. So if we were going to do this sum, we need to make sure that we do the multiplication first and then the addition. So the first bit here is 4 times 3, well 4 times 3 is 12, and then add the 5, our answer is 17. Moving on to this one then, we have two sets of brackets, so we need to make sure that we do whatever's in the brackets first. So in this bracket we have 3 times 3, so our answer is 9. In this bracket is 2 times 3, answer is 6, and then we can do this bit in the middle. 9 subtract 6, because subtraction is our last thing that we do. 9 subtract 6, the answer is 3. Okay, on this example, this is 50 divided by 4 plus 5. So if we follow along on bod mass, we see that division comes before addition. So we'll need to do that division first. 50 divided by 4. Um, so 50 divided by 2 is 25. So if we divide by 4, it would be 12.5. Plus 5 is 17.5. And finally, we have um, a squared number in here. So we have an order. We also have a subtraction and we also have a brackets. So the brackets must always be done first. So four plus nine is 13. And then we need to do our order next. So five squared is 25. 25 minus 13 is 12. I hope you found that helpful. Please have a look at the resources provided with this video and have a go doing them yourself and let me know how you get on. Thank you. Okay, just for fun, we'll see what happens if we don't use bod mass. Looking at this first question here, we have four times three plus five. Well, what people tend to do is they do four times three plus five. Well, three plus five is eight. Four times eight is 32. So there's my answer. Completely different to our original answer of 17. And looking at this one, sometimes people do this bit first. 3 minus 2 times 3, which would be minus 3. And then they do 3 times minus 3, which must be minus 9. Okay, with this one, some people do um, 4 plus 5 must be 9. So they do 50 
divided by 9, and then they end up with some decimal uh, that's quite complicated. With this one, we tend to have the answer that looks like this. We have 5 squared minus 4, um, so that's 25, take away 4 is 21, and then they add 9, 21 add 9 equals 30, uh, way, ab way above what we had before, which 5 squared was 25, take away 30, and the answer was 12. So you can see when we don't use bod mass, our answers are completely different. So it's really important that you do stick to those rules.